So I'm going to go over some of the custom settings I use um, when shooting astrophotography, tripod shooting, nighttime shooting. So we have all these settings saved in U1. And if you don't know about user settings, custom settings, you can read plenty more about that and watch videos. So first off, I have my exposure here. We have auto ISO turned off. We're in manual mode, um, which you can set to U1, 15 seconds and f2.8. This is a pretty good um, exposure to start you off when you're finding what you want for nighttime. Let's go into the menus here. So we'll start up at playback. Image review, I turn on. Now, this doesn't save with uh, user settings, but it's too bad. That's just how it is. <laughs> There's another one that doesn't stay on that I wish it did, which is uh, monitor brightness. So this will not toggle on and off with your uh, user settings. You have to do that each time. So we'll go into shooting menu here. There's a couple things. Um, quality, raw obviously. Um, you can also run backups if you want. White balance I just set to auto. We can change that in post. Picture control we can change in post. Noise reduction. I generally keep that off. That's kind of a personal preference. Um, I don't like to spend double the time of my exposure. I find it makes me shoot a lot slower. Um, and I don't want to be standing out there in the cold for too long. Um, not much else in shooting menu, so let's skip movie. We'll go down to custom settings. First one that's important is AF activation. That's going to be off. Um, that means when you press your, hold your shutter, even if you have your lens focus switch or your body focus switch turned to auto, it will not focus. The only time it will try to auto focus is if you press this AF on button with that. So that helps for accidents if you've got your focus dialed in and then you uh, accidentally hold the shutter and it goes off. Um, low light AF we have turned on. Metering we're skipping. Standby timer this is the timer for when your um, information is shown here and in the viewfinder. I find this useful to just stay on a little longer. Um, so 30 seconds, they have other options up to infinity basically. Self timer, delay of two seconds. This is useful if you are using uh, longer focal lengths for deep sky photography. Monitor off delay. Um, I just have playback to 20 seconds, menu one minute, um, these types of things. You generally want these on a little longer when you're out at night because you're fiddling with things more. Exposure delay mode. So this changes um, the time after the mirror goes up from when it takes a photo. So normally your mirror goes up, it immediately takes a photo. But you can get some mirror shock, um, which is slight vibrations in the body um, which can give you blurred out stars and things if you're shooting longer focal lengths. So I have that to half a second and then electronic front shutter curtain is a similar thing um, it just does it with the shutter um, it waits a little bit until the shutter opens to take a photo or something along those lines. Um, again more useful with longer focal lengths. Extended shutter speeds um, this is a little unique to the D780. You can run your shutter up to 900 seconds or 15 minutes on this camera, which is very helpful. Um, you don't need a remote to activate those longer shutter speeds, so that's nice. Go back down, keep going down. Peaking highlights. Um, I'm not sure if this is too useful with stars or not, but I always have this on. Um, this basically when you go into manual focus on live view 
it highlights what's in focus. LCD illumination is on at all times, so this is the LCD up here. Normally you have to toggle your switch here, but this just leaves it on, so in the dark you can quickly glance at your exposure, which is really nice. We can go back here. Keep going down. And I think that is about it for custom settings. Um, I did mention the monitor brightness. That's very important. You can get a uh, skewed view of how bright or exposed your image is and then go back to your computer and realize it's underexposed just because it looks so bright on the monitor. Um, another fun one, go into live view here. If you toggle this info button, oh, there it is. If you can see that, you get a, a virtual horizon. So that is useful when you're setting up your tripod, making sure it's level. Um, that's pretty much everything. Um, let me know if you have any other settings you like to use or uh, tips you've learned. I'd love to hear about them. And yeah, thanks for watching.